Hello class, welcome back. This week we're gonna be learning about something new in Letterland. It goes along with something we've already learned about, but we're gonna start by looking at this word. This is the word float, float, okay? Can you think of someone in Letterland who might like to float in the water? The one that I'm thinking about is Walter Walrus. Now walruses have a built-in bubble to help them to float. Walruses even float when they sleep with their bodies straight up and down and their noses sticking out of the water, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna say this all together. Walter Walrus floats when he sleeps. Walter Walrus floats when he sleeps. Now we have to change this word float because we actually said the word floats. Remember when we add something on the end of a word, we call it a suffix. So what did we add to that word to make it floats? We actually added an S. So our suffix is S. So if I added an S, it would look like this and it would turn this word into floats. Okay, we actually know another suffix as well. What if I wanted to make the word, we'll go back to the base word. What if I wanted to make the word float, floating, like Walter Walrus is floating? I would need to add the ing to the end of that word to make it floating. So if we make floating, it would look like this. I have the base word float, but I've added ing to make it floating. Now, let's say that Walter Walrus has stopped sleeping and floating, and he swims to the shore and crawls up on the ice and says, I floated for a long time. Let's see how we could turn our word float, turn our word float into floated. Now, if we make floated, we would need two letters that go together. So we would actually need E, D. So our first base word is float and the other part says ed which tells us that someone has already done something. So Walter Walrus already floated and now he has stopped. So if I add ed to that word it would make it floated and it would look like this. Have the base word float and then I add ed to make it floated, okay? So you guys helped me to change that word from float into floated, okay? You can do this with other words as well, but I wanna show you what happens to some words when you put ed on the end. Okay, let's try this word. We all know what this word is. It's a It was a sight word in kindergarten. It's the word play. Now, when we add ed to this one and make it played, something else happens. So we have the base word and we're gonna add ed to that word, okay? So it makes a little bit different of a sound than floated would make. This one is just played. And sometimes Eddie Elephant plays a disappearing game when his sound disappears. All we hear is Dippy Duck saying the duh sound. So we say played, played, and we take away that E sound. So it looks kind of like this. There's that magic E being silent, okay? And then we have Dippy Duck saying the sound. So it's played. In this word float, or what we made floated, we actually were saying Eddie Elephant sound and Dippy Duck sound all together. So uh, it was floated, floated, okay? So we're gonna practice some of that today in our word sort, and you guys are going to help me. Now, as always, I have, I'm gonna set up my different categories for you, just like we're doing a word sort all together. So in my first category, I need to sort some words. And actually I need to flip these. The first couple of words I have 
remember in this one I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Eddie Elephant sound, but in this E D suffix, I'm not gonna be saying his sound. I'm only gonna be making Dippy Duck sound. So if I say this word, remember when I start with a word that has a suffix, I want to break it down and make it easier for myself. So I'm gonna take the suffix off, figure out what the base word is, and then add the suffix back. So this is the word wait wait and I need to make it waited so I'm gonna add the ed and say waited another word in this category would be the base word need need id needed so we have waited needed and the last one we're gonna add is the base word rest and then add ed rested rested Okay, so those are for the first category of ED and how you say it. The second category of ED, remember, is when Dippy Duck's the only one making her sound. So we have words like the base word of play, like we already practiced, pl play, d played. We have words like stay, d stayed. And we have words like, I remember this word from a couple of weeks ago that we practiced. This base word is the word climb, climb. So if we say it with ed on the end, it would be climbed. I climbed a tree, okay? So remember when you're saying these words, you're only saying the d sound at the end, okay? And I like to say the words out loud to see if they make sense. If you're a little bit confused, like if I was to say the word played, that makes way more sense than plated, okay? The word played makes sense, but not plated. That doesn't make any sense. Same for stayed. I couldn't say stated. That wouldn't make sense. And I couldn't say climbed did. That wouldn't make sense either, okay? So just remember those words because those will be on your word chart this week. Also, I made a mystery category. The question mark, some of you are a little bit confused about the question mark. That's just for words that don't fit into these two categories. So for today, I'm just gonna put the tricky words in that category and one of the story words, because those are for the words that you don't really know where they go, but they definitely don't follow the pattern that we were working on, okay? This is the word O-F of. This is the word friend. This is the word wash. And this is a word I added because I wanted to show you how I would break down this word. This is a story word this week, so you'll see this again. It's actually, if I break it down, I would I would break it down into two parts. The first part is j -ig, jig, and the last part is saw because we know that's the word saw, that's, that was a sight word. So we have jig, saw, so put them together and it would be jigsaw. Okay, these are some of the words, some of them are sight words that you already should know, like this one and this one. This is just a tricky word, wash. And then this was a story word that I just wanted to practice with you guys all together, okay? So here are some of the words we practiced this week, just so you guys will be able to look at them when you do your word sort. I have also posted some um, stories that you guys can read and some review sentences on Seesaw. So I really encourage you to go check those out as well. And I hope that you enjoy your Seesaw activities and learning more about the suffix ED. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.